Link in the description box if you don't want to suffer and hear me narrate the patch notes. Who wants to do that, seriously? Borderlands 3 update patch 1.08 or patch 5, also known as patch 5, is now out. So let's just go through the, uh, the patch notes and see what's up, right? Today, we will release an update for Borderlands 3 while it's now out. Before 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, that addresses reported issues with Guardian Rank fast traveling to Sanctuary 3, adds vending machines to Skywall 27, and includes some support for the first DLC, Moxie's Heist of the Handsome Jackpot, which will be live on December 19th. With this patch also comes a new hotfix menu. You will know that hotfixes are applied when you see the menu get a little more festive. Below are the notes for today's patch. Notes for Patch 5. New content, added support for Borderlands 3, DLC Moxie's Heist of the Handsome Jackpot, live on December 19th. Addressed a reported concern related to the Grenade Indicator widget, a reported concern related to the Minimap widget, fixed a crash that sometimes occurred when exiting the Echo, Echo, Echo menu. See what I did there? I'm trying to be funny. Fixed a crash that sometimes occurred when a user attempted to load into the game after experiencing a network error. Console. Fixed a rare crash that sometimes occurred in split screen when players leave the party. Well, yeah, because when you leave the party, you're essentially splitting your team. Split Anyways. Fixed a rare crash that sometimes occurred after idling for 10 minutes. Xbox. Fixed a crash that sometimes occurred in split screen on Xbox One. PC. Improved network performance on PC to prevent hitching related to friends or networked games. UI. We have improved inventory menu performance. Improved performance when opening Guardian Rank menu. PC. Added support to immediately swap between glyph types when using auto detect. Added numbered icons to the Mayhem mode icon on the HUD. Added missing Japanese characters. Addressed an issue where all functionality could sometimes be lost when pressing the options button within the mode menu before starting a game. Addressed an issue where Mayhem mode icons on the HUD would sometimes become inconsistent when adjusting the difficulty. Well, yeah, because it's going to inconsistently get harder if you put it on a harder difficulty. Addressed an issue where thumbnails are locked state could sometimes become in a locked state could sometimes become incorrect when viewed in the inventory menu. Sorry, that was like worded weird for a second to me. Addressed an issue where vending machine thumbnails could sometimes be incorrect. Addressed an issue where the photo mode settings could sometimes scroll off the screen. It wanted like a wider angle shot, maybe? I don't know. PC. Addressed an issue where the PC text chat UI would sometimes disappear after being open for the second time during a cinematic. Addressed an issue where friend profile icons were sometimes not showing up correctly on the Echo menu. I won't do that joke again. Addressed an issue where the character icons sometimes fail to be present when viewing the friend's mail prompt in the mail menu. Addressed an issue where clients could sometimes lose functionality when opening the Echo menu after exiting a vehicle. Console. Addressed an issue where item cards would sometimes appear cut off when viewing items in chests in split screen. Well, it splits the screen, it split the card. Seems logical to me. Console. Addressed an issue where small item cards would sometimes be displayed on the wrong player screen in split screen. It <whistles> slipped over onto the other side. Addressed an issue where clients who late joined the takedown at the Maliwan black site would sometimes not have spectator mode button prompts. Addressed an issue where performance could sometimes be negatively impacted by pressing inputs from two different sources while spectating during the takedown at the Maliwan black site. Addressed an issue where primary and secondary stats could sometimes overlap on legendary artifact item cards. Well, that's how it should be. That's what makes it legendary. It just stacks together. Or overlap, whatever. Addressed an issue where multiple notifications were sometimes being triggered after having completed a challenge. Missions. Addressed a perceived progression blocker that sometimes occurred if the player jumped before Chad did during the mission Swamp Burrow. Addressed a perceived progression blocker where the objective kill Ratch sometimes wouldn't update during the mission The Family Jewel. Never mind the Family Jewels. Addressed a perceived progression blocker during the mission in the shadow of the starlight. So that was a progression blocker 
the family jewel. I guess that's like cock blocking then. Addressed perceived progression blockers related to traveling between environments on Promethea. Addressed a reported concern where waypoints would sometimes fail to appear when obtaining a mission for an environment that hadn't been unlocked yet. Addressed a reported concern where players were sometimes unable to complete fast travel station zone progress when exploring Cathedral of uh, the Twin Gods. Addressed multiple issues with echo dialogue not playing. So the opposite of echoing, it just wasn't displaying it, period. Gameplay. Updated weapons wielded by Kov badass enemies to use bullet-based variations to cut down on FX spam. Fixed a reported concern where Guardian rank perks would sometimes be disabled for users that had already unlocked them. Addressed a reported concern where enemies would sometimes deal excessive damage to vehicles in true Vault Hunter mode. Addressed a reported concern where the Spider Rant King enemy sometimes failed to launch the sticky projectile from his tail when performing a web pullback. Pull attack. Addressed a reported concern that enemies might not spawn from warp anchors and dropships. Addressed a reported concern that Zane's quick breather skill was sometimes not functioning. So then he was slow breathing, and then the oxygen cut off to his brain and he passed out. Addressed a reported concern that Zane's Schadenfreude, is that German? I don't know. Skill would sometimes not award the player shield restoration. Addressed a reported concern that Zane's Promunitus skill would sometimes not award the proper size clip. On the first clip of the weapon, the Digiclone is spawned with. Addressed a report of concern that Moses, Moses, Mosey, Moses, Moses, stainless steel bear skill could sometimes not award the damage bonus to Iron Bear. Remember, English is actually not my first language. I'm just saying. Addressed a report of concern that Mosey would occasionally be ejected from Iron Bear immediately after entering it. <laughs> a little prematurely, eh? Addressed a report of concern what a client's camera would sometimes occasionally stutter and lose functionality after performing Amara's downfall skill into a kill volume. Addressed a report of concern that Amara's indiscriminate skill could sometimes create lots of ricochet bullets when firing the legendary Maliwan shotgun, projectile recursion. Addressed a report of concern where invulnerable shields would sometimes fail to block rounds fired from the legendary Maliwan shotgun projectile. Recursion. General. Sorry, my phone keeps beeping, and it's really effing annoying. I'm going to turn it off. Okay, enough, enough, piss off. This is ruining the whole vibe. Added functionality to skip intro movie once the video has fully loaded. Added vending machines to Skywell 27. Disabled access to photo mode during fight for your life. Change the default send mail error to encompass additional issues. PC. Adjusted volume and attenuation to bring music volume up while playing in hi-fi mode on PC. Crew quarter room decorations now correctly use the rotation of the hook. Optimize challenges to prevent hitching when saving. Optimize challenge completion percentage computation to occur over multiple frames to prevent hitching. Fix to report a concern where save game could sometimes get bloated with duplicate challenge data. Fix to report a concern where save game data could sometimes have a minor leak. Fix to report a concern where the game would not start up in correct resolution sometimes when using full screen mode and display scaling. I'm assuming that was PC only. Fixed a report of concern where the player could sometimes remain invisible after respawning. Who? Fixed a report of concern where clients would sometimes not see Sanctuary 3. Fast travel stations until they were already in the map. Fixed a report of concern where the D-pad would sometimes not change selections in the Sanctuary 3 fast travel list. My goodness, these patch notes. Fixed a report of concern where clients might not unlock fast travel stations after using the fast forward feature. Fixed a report of concern where environments could sometimes appear unnaturally bright due bright due time of day errors. Due to time of day errors. That's why I'm getting screwed up here. They don't seem to have English as their first language either. Fixed a report of concern where vehicle boost effects could sometimes appear black. Fixed a typo for the spelling of the immune text pop in German. Fixed a reported concern where some strings for the key binding menu were not localized. 
fixed a reported concern where the badass event icon could sometimes show up when the event had been deactivated when using the EchoCast Twitch extension. Fixed a reported concern where cryo destructible pose sometimes did not match character when in Ragdoll. Console. Fixed a reported concern where the custom waypoint hint text would sometimes appear in the zone map in non-current environments on consoles. Again, on consoles, reported, fixed a reported concern where photo mode filters sometimes weren't working properly with HDR. Also on console, fixed a reported concern where Vault Hunter profile cards sometimes didn't pull from local data for split-screen players causing a mismatch in presentation. Fixed a report a concern where the client would sometimes see an unresponsive black screen after accepting an invite during the intro movie. PC. So much for it being the master race, eh? You seem to have a lot of isolated issues, Mr. PC. I'm just messing around. Calm down. PC. Fixed a report a concern where the Vault Hunter profile cards on Epic Game Store, no comment, were sometimes not showing correctly. As always, you can help, but yeah, no one cares. So, that's, uh, that's uh, pretty much it. So if you liked the video, uh, give it a thumbs up. You didn't like the video. Oh yeah, give it a thumbs down. Now make sure the next time you load the game, you get stuck with Borderlands the pre-sequel. We all know how amazing that game was. And if you want to subscribe to the channel and reverse that thing, that would be cool. And if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. As always, take care, boys and girls, or whatever it is you identify as, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now.